All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Scrab Dackle. I'm just gonna very, oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna very quickly look at the settings. There's nothing there. Okay, so Scrab Dackle is a weird game about a wizard cast out of, accidentally cast out of wizard school and wandering around in an extremely bizarre world. There is a, I feel like there needs to be a, a genre for this kind of game. The kind of bizarro, earthbound-esque, or just like, I don't know, alt-reality, but goofy. And, like, you see it in games like Everhood and Undertale, and I, I guess Earthbound is probably the original root inspiration for a lot of this stuff. And I, I think this fits right in that category. I'd love to come up with a name for them just to kind of describe them because they are just such a unique flavor. Anyway, so we're going to dive right into this one. So uh, if it's not immediately obvious, this is kind of a Kickstarter promo. I usually don't do these, but this game looks neat enough that I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, and we're just going to dive right in. I also love the name. One day at the Wizard Academy. <laughs> well, it wastes no time on the premise. I like it. All right. Junkie. And we got our wand. Or scrying glass. Your handy scrying glass. Although you lost your wand, you can still cast the scry spell with this. Click and hold right click while exploring to scry. Study interesting targets marked with green magic glow. To log new entries about your acad uh, into your academy notebook, press tab or click on the book icon in the sidebar to open it. Okay. And that's interact. Oh, there. That was some fall. Press E if you would like. I won't bite. Must have had some lump on your head after a drop like that. Psst, try R F to navigate choices. Uh, let's see, R F. Ah, where is this? Ah, haven't spent much time outside the academy, have you? That's what they say about wizards: always with their heads down. Uh, this here's where all the muck in the river washes up. Not much of anywhere. What are you doing here then? Some good finds in the water if you're patient. People lose trinkets in the river all the time. So what's next for you? You said you saw me fall. Uh, yep, out the window over there. Face first in the muck. You lose a wizard bet. I'm not really sure what happened. That's so. I thought you wizards knew everything. Suppose it was quite a tumble you took, though. So, uh, let's see. Gotta go find that wand. Suppose so. It's somewhere rightwards. I'd bet my ducks on it. And good luck to you. All right. So I can... Okay. Hello. This blue sign is a note from the developer with some general information. Like this? Okay. Inter interacts. Yeah, that should be... Simple enough. All conversations in Scrab Dackle are exitable. You can walk away from any conversation at any time, even this one. If you want to get started... Okay, cool. Other blue, blue signs have similar tutorial stuff, general info. Okay. Let's do... Tell me the controls. Backspace at any time to pause and check your goals. Escape to see settings or quit. Okay. Now you've got the scrying glass. Hover your cursor over something emitting green magic triangles and hold right-click to study them. And then use tab in your notebook. Okay, full controls. Hover your cursor over the large green icon in the left sidebar. Okay. Fair enough. Magic actions requires a wand. Left click, attack ability, right click, special ability, spacebar, move ability. So I guess we will have to fight stuff. This is honestly a little bit more Legend of Zelda than I was expecting. Uh, I really did not look at any of the screenshots for this. I just knew it was going to be cool. If reflex skill... Challenges aren't your comfort zone. You want to just explore. You can activate Maid Shield. Okay. What else is there? So when Maid Shield is on, you can get hit but not get hurt. Your magic meter will drain on hit instead, slowing down your ability to fight back but preventing game overs. We're hoping this means players not here for tough challenges can still enjoy the game without actively missing out on any out on any content. All right. Cool. I. We're just gonna wander away. Yep. Telling me that I can walk walk away. So, I'm supposed to go rightwards. These things terrify me. They're probably... Okay! Well, they don't terrify me anymore. They're dead. Wizard Academy. All visitors welcome. Okay. 
And do not go into the water. It doesn't look like it hurt me that much. But it's still... I like the, uh, the visual style here. Alright. I think we want to stay away from the raccoon. Wah! Oh, sorry, I thought you were another bandit. You did, why? I'm looking for trash bandits later. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna have to avoid the trash bandits here. They apparently can hurt me. I guess I should have known that this was possible. Oh! Save. Enemies respawn. Files filled and corked. Okay, so rocks like that... Huh. Hello, creature. Okay. There we go. There's one dead. There's two dead. Alright, and we got some gem bits. I like the combat system in this game. Don't do anything. Just dodge. It's, I'm sure it's not going to be viable for most of the enemies. But I appreciate it right now. Let's go get our wand so I can actually fight back. Hello, wand. You found magic wand. A wizard's trustiest companion. Aim with the cursor, left click to cast. Casting consumes magic. Until you acquire more spells, charms, and runes, your magic wand will cast the simple strata blast by default. It's actually the only other spell you know. Okay, so I just shoot shapes. I'm fine with it. I appreciate that there is combat in this. It seems pretty charming. Okay, so I can't even I can't even dodge yet. Oh, can I destroy trash? This is a dodgy sucker, and it's a dead sucker. Oh, well, that was quick. All right, let's detrash the world, because apparently that's how we get uh, money. What are these called? Magic bits. Residue of offensive spellcraft can be traded as current currency, usually. Usually. Maybe there's other types of currency we get. Either that, or there's another use for it. I don't know. I just woke up. My ability to commentate is frazzled. I'm on an adventure. That's the real answer. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's something about... I love being able to kick enemies into pits. There's just something about that that's really charming. Unfortunately, I don't get the uh, the magic bits. For kicking them into pits. I This rhymes, and it's not intentional. I... Oh, man. When I was a kid... I, I'm sure maybe some of you... Is it like Mar Mary Shelley or something? There's there's a poet. It's a very short poem that's effectively like, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it or something. It's super basic like that, but it's, it's apparently from like a famous poet. As a kid, I don't know if I heard it or came up with it myself, uh, but for a while, you know, I, I just say that as kind of just like a, a fun like, hey, you know, poetry. Eh. I don't think I need to farm for bits that badly. And I was so proud of myself. Up until, like, years later, one of my friends is like, you know that's like, somebody else wrote that, right? And I was just sitting there being like, no, my precious poem, the only clever thing I've done so far in my brief childhood. I wasn't actually that heartbroken, but I honestly forgot about it after that day. Uh-oh. They mad. I like the fact that there is a wizard meter on this one. Oh, that's probably a health vial globe bit. I was wondering what those were. And, oh no, they do disappear over time. Luckily, I don't need them for anything. I haven't taken any damage. I'm doing fine. Got a gold star. Oh, okay, Junk Heap, ignoble resting place. Name perhaps hyperbolic, nonetheless a fitting descriptor. Small stagnant bog east of the academy, likely runoff from the river. Moss dense along rocky outcroppings, but ground without grass or peat of any kind. Yikes, don't drink the water. Run weirdly chalky despite wetland biome. Trash everywhere. Not sure if it could all, oh, not sure where it could all be from. 
How many locals? Possibly washes up from further upstream? Seems to be fulcrum of local ecology. Be trash, eat trash, gather trash, etc. Would rather move on. Wow. Oh. Okay, I gotta look at this. So, our name is Blue. Makes sense. Uh, word from our headmaster. Hello, class. Mm, C's 177. We're excited to have you joining the junior program this semester. Within these blank pages lies your future, soon to be filled with discoveries, insights, and understandings. As you progress through your courses and towards junior exams, it is diligent and it is the diligent and curious wizard who excels, and in your own studies, this notebook will be the canvas on which your journey through the study of magic is painted. Don't forget the octarine. My little joke. Oh. We are tremendously proud of all of our students, and though you should heed the words of your teachers, never forget that if wizardom is to grow, we must also likewise lend an ear to the new ideas of our student body. Thus, don't be afraid to use these pages to explore thoughts outside of what you read in aged grimoires, or what is spoken as fact in these halls. A truth is merely a working theory, yet to be disproven by younger, brighter minds. Holy shit, that is a I like that. And remember, volition makes the wizard. Oh, we also have an unlock all button. I'll do that at the end. So, table of context, you can, contents, you can actually see how much we've explored. Me, self-portraits are hard. It's true. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I have to study... Uh, I wonder if I have to study critters. I haven't tested that yet. Yes, okay, so the... Yes, I do have to study critters. Okay, let's grab the health globe. I haven't taken too much. Okay, there we go. I understand what I'm doing now. Ow. Even if I'm taking a little bit of damage, it's no biggie. So, I can, I can study creatures and objects. It just has to do a little green circle around it first. Dang it. At least I don't take damage for falling in the water. That's a decidedly for other people problem. For me, I, I don't know, maybe I just know how to swim badly. But no, I... I'm really digging the idea of this this kind of exploration system. Uh, the wander the world, grab things, grab notes, and have cute little journal entries about everything. So we've got the gold star. Ah, yeah, garbage eater. Oh, with a little drawing and extra stuff. I, I don't know. It's a lot of bonus flavor, but it goes a long way. We might as well save, get my HP back. I could just, uh, I could just keep going, but considering the enemies are pretty weak and easy to just chuck into the river, no reason why not to. Like I said, I can just bully the heck out of everything. Hey, wizard, fancy seeing one of you here. Odd place to hang out. Just passing time, the village is closed, you know, not much to do. Could be a while, make yourself comfortable. The village is closed? Some business with the local bully. It's, uh, well, kind of awkward. Awkward? Yeah, you know, it's a bit much to put the whole town on lockdown over this, but now make the rules. Could be a while. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. See you, wizard. We... I'm just gonna murder everything. Oh, you know what? I haven't studied these guys. I should probably study the bigger version, too, when we get the chance. Okay, what else do we- ah. Can I study the tr trash? No, I cannot study trash piles. That is beyond my ability. I'll check the mailbox, though. I will study everything. No. Oh. That's a- oh yeah, it's a dead end. That's probably the walls of the academy. Right there. 
Okay. Let us go places. Hello, yes. Aha! Ow! I was like, I, I felt so clever. I was like, ow. Oh. Well, that's fine. Got a gold star. I hopped into the water to avoid the enemy attack and then immediately dove straight back into the enemy to get hit. It's fine. I can feel accomplished with myself even when I'm goofing. Like I said, I just woke up. This is sleepy subprime wander. Psst. It's... Ah, so it is a wizard I scented. How exquisite. If I may introduce myself, I'm a friend. A peer, you might say. A peer? Yes, a fellow enthusiast of magic. <laughs> ah, and it is magic I sent it upon you now. Oh, delightful. You do? Yes, a familiar texture to my learned nostrils. What texture are you smelling? You mean to say you don't immediately recognize the crystalline residue which your magic leaves behind, such which tinkles gently with echoes of what it once was, that dried effluence of arcane itself. Mm. Ah, forgive me, I became carried away. Crystal reg residue, like magic bits? If you prefer their common term, then, yes, magic bits. What are the bits for? My interest is my own. To you, I am simply a collector of curios. A simple peddler of queer wares. What kind of wares? I trade in a variety of artifacts. Right now, I have an interest in these magic bits. In exchange, one such artifact could be yours. But alas, it seems like you are poor of purse. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, excuse my little joke. How much are you charging? The fee will be 200 bits. That's ridiculous. Yes, and yet it is the cost. So will you buy? Hard pass. Ah, so be it. I shall be waiting. All right. I am... Well, I guess it's in the middle of an, uh, middle of an episode. Middle of a video. Uh, we're back. I had to go do other things. Oh, so we do get treasure off the trash piles. All right, I'm gonna go... Do I go weirdly? Nope. Let's just get rid of that guy. Okay, now we know. I was gonna say, it's like, do I want to go, like, weirdly obsessive here? Because it seems like they're, they're very much... There very much is, like, a... a focus on exploration with this game, obviously. Okay. History of the local landmark, Dusty Cave. Read, you can't read most of it since it's been plastered over with a notice. Cave closed until dust moats cleared out. Enter at own risk. All right. Anyway, uh, let's see. What was, what was I going to talk about? Filming, exploration. This feels like the kind of game that I am going to want to go full completionist on, find everything. There's the journal, there's the money, there's a bunch of stuff. Let's actually go grab the dude. And... I, you know what? It almost kind of reminds me of uh, Re Reventure. I think it was Reventure. Uh, hey there. Uh, hi. Sorry, don't meet many people in the caves. Is this like your hideout? Sort of. Wasn't it? Wasn't supposed to be. I've just been out here for a while. I've been trying to map out the caves recently. The tunnels stretch a lot further than you'd think. Personally, I wouldn't go back there right now, though. Why not? Well, a lot of dust motes. A lot of dust motes. I'm hiding out here for a while. I think they got a nest or something. I don't even know if they do nest. But I'd stay away if I were you. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Watch out for the motes. Like, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta decide what I want to do with this one. Because it's one of those where it's like... I, I, wait, i already been here. What? Where else does it go? It's like, you know, it's a lot further than you'd think, but I've already been through here. Ah. But there's at least... Aha! Good eye! You found a hidden entrance to a later area. 
Won't be ready until later in development. For now, enjoy the exciting sign. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't actually look like there's much around here. They really kind of imply that there's going to be something big. This looks like the minute protagonist, kind of. Okay, so it, it doesn't actually look like this place is particularly large. I do want to get the 200 uh, spell bits. Because I want to see if I can get the... Uh... Oh, we got another one of these here? Yeah, I guess it's not too far away. Uh, but I want to get the artifact and obviously get to the end of the demo. The question is, how many videos does that take? Sometimes it takes a little while. You never know. What's this one say? It's been partially painted over. Now it reads, come visit scenic peanuts are dumb. Wait, hard to tell. Hard to tell which part has been vandalized. No peanuts allowed. Dumb. Tribute. Annoying. So dumb. Blam jam. Blammy. Maybe. Stupid's inside. Oh, these people are peanuts, of course. Hello. Hey, you. Hi. Up here. I'm the gate guard. And, uh, hoping you could do me a favor. A favor? A little favor. I'm not asking for much for a wizard anyway. That's not very specific. Well, you haven't been very specific about helping me out. Fine, I'll try and help you out. Happy? Great! Okay, see the big sleeping potato? I need you to beat it up. You want me to what? Just, you know, use some wizard magic and magic punch it or something. Something cool like that. Wizards don't punch. Okay, magic kick. Magic whatever. Just magic deal with it. Sounds like a you problem. You know what? Then, you know what? Fine. Be that way. You can just be a dumb not getting in here wizard from out there. But you'll come around. I have leverage. Gate leverage. See you later, jerk. You're the asshole first. <sighs> More locked. Guess I gotta wake it up first. Sucker takes some killing. Wait. This potato is also doing magic. Okay, he got mad. Okay, come on, dodge. I don't have dodge capabilities. Oh boy. Yeah, I know he drops health. There we go, got him. Little Lord was the guy's name. Well, first, let's grab all of these. Well, they're they're those are gone for good. All right, and then I don't know. Let's just wander off. Who cares about this dumb town? I'm here for. The raccoon. I can't wait till we get some other spells that I can play with. How much I'm at? 181. Alright, we're getting close. It's covered in graffiti. You can make out Peanut Village under the paint. Fair enough. I only need 17 more bits, so I might as well just explore for a bit. R. See if I can get a little bit more. Unfortunately, no, I guess these do drop bits occasionally. Oh, it's not much, though. Oh, what do we got over here? Rubble Ruins. I don't know, this is just cute. And honestly, like, gameplay ain't bad. Whoa there, hold up. Get in here before one of them see you. Uh, okay, them? You don't... you don't know? Them, the things that live in the ruins. They're not like anything else around here. Real monsters, you know? Personally, I would highly recommend turning back for your own good. What are you doing out here? With any luck, I'm turn warning you away. Boo, turn back. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. Mostly, I just make sure no kids wander out this way. You're a wizard, this probably looks normal to you. But still, be careful, okay? If you can't defend yourself, this is no place to be dawdling. Personally, I'd highly recommend turning back for your own good. What's up with the sky? Oh, first time seeing it. It's been like that for a long time now. Didn't used to spread this close to the village, though. Apparently the sky used to be normal here, a long time ago. Then the plants started dying, the sky clouded up, and... 
there you are, dark magic, people say. What started it? Oh, couldn't say for sure, but there is a wizard living somewhere way out in the ruins. Reckon they would know. Personally, okay, same deal. Monsters, huh? Things with giant glowing eyes. Insides all teeth and outsides all shadow. You can hear them before you can see them. What with all the growling? You think I'm ready enough? Yes, unless... Well, unless you got a speed spell on that one, I'd suggest turning back. These folks are fast, you understand me? Yeah, I'm pretty fast myself. Keep that up, and the only fast you're gonna be is breakfast. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so we're gonna just take a, a peek. An ogle. Yeah, they're pretty spooky. Okay, I have... Uh, I'm getting there bits-wise. I mean, I guess I can go back to the... I can go to the town. It's like 10 bits. We'll get a little bit more. That guard saved the whole town! What a hero! Oh, you shit. Boots for sale. Is that some kind of wizard? Okay, well, we've got a save you spot. We might as well save. I don't know how to get to that mailbox, though. Customer to Wizard 2. Hello there. Hi, is this a boots shop? It is indeed. Finest pure of air boots in all of Scrab Dackle. And you, my new friend, are pure bootless. Got to fit yourself a lovely uh, new pair of this fine footwear? Guess I could take a look. You guess? You guess? Well, well, then I guess I can show you the most incredible boots you've ever seen. Uh, yes, marvel at these dashing boots, fastest footwear you'll ever find across the land. What is it they do? Well, they make you dashing, of course. That's why I call them dashing boots. Dashing like speed or looks. Yes. So, interested? Maybe I can try them out first. And maybe I could cast magic for a living. Ho oh, ho, but we both know that's not true. You gotta pay up front, my friend. So interested? I don't have any money. Oh, don't worry about that. You're not the only wizard customer around here. We're used to trading in bits. Really? There are others around? Oh, yes, an artificer of some kind. They visit every now and then for supplies. Where do they visit from? Out of the rooms, I believe. Gas is the place to live, but wizards, you know. Who's to stop them? So interested? Sure. Excellent. These boots normally trade for 120 knucks, but for you, 80 bits. What do you say? Sure. Delightful! A deal is struck. Thank you kindly for your business. Dashing boots are all yours. Dashing boots. These boats... Boots... Boats. Boots don't just look dashing. They feel dashing. Maybe because you can run fast in them. Use the spacebar to dash forward with a burst of speed. Hard to turn while dashing, so mind your surroundings. Okay. Hey, wizard, you got any Unlockus Doris magics up your sleeve? That's not a thing. Yeah, okay. How about you find us my house key? Oh yeah, that one's real. Great! You mind casting it? You know, give it a little Cassie Cassie. It's not a real smell spell, is it? Alright, funny nut, you've had your turn. Maybe you can make up for that with a little favor. Lost my key out in the duckland somewhere. Just got back, and it's pretty rough to be a nut out there in hostile territory, you mind? I guess I can let you know if I see it. Awesome, not that I, you know, need it. But that's kind of you. Guess it's not true what they say about wizards. Anyway, probably time for you to be on your way, huh? I'll just wait here till you get back. Welcome, traveler, or should I say, explore in the making. I always recognize a new face, and I uh, let me say, you're no local peanut. First time visiting town? I mean, I've read about the village. Oh, there's nothing to be ashamed about. Wizards rarely stop by. It's just the way it is with all those magic studies, you know? Although, personally, I wouldn't call it uh, call myself much of a wizard if I hadn't traveled far and wide across Scrabdackle. Hey, that's a little harsh. Oh, I don't mean any offense. I'm just saying a true student of, na of nature, uh, the nature of the world has to explore n nature and the world, you know? I, I, I guess... But not your luck. C is looking for new for new junior explorers, and you seem to be looking for adventure. Wait, see what? 
Oh, it's an acronym. C, the Scrabdackel Exploration Society. That spells cess, doesn't it? Well, only if you focus on the wrong letters, sure. Language is also an adventure. So, what do you say? Ready to embark on an explorer's journey and see the world? I don't have any money. Forget money, we're a volunteer group. All you need is a thirst for adventure. Although there is a mandatory donation for any directions we offer. Yes, we do accept magic bits. I'm out. Let's just write them down as a yes for now. I have a conversation. Read the room, y'all. Rude. What is this? Can't go in. I don't know. This town sucks. We'll check it out later. Bravos is impassable in the demo. Just for your information, you'll have to come around from the other side in the full game. Oh, hell yeah. Wow, that pays for the boots and then some. I'll be looking for more bits to fulfill a certain request. Here's a bundle. In the full game, that'll take some collecting, but there isn't enough content to explore and find bits, so you and I are gonna hand wave that a bit to prevent anyone grinding. But now it's all yours. I love this developer already. Ducklands! To the Ducklands. Uh, hey, hi. Cool. Golf! Three knucks to play. Now nah, we're gonna go down first. Welcome to Ducklands. This is a content area that'll open up after the demo. It'll be a major hub between four other areas. It hasn't been developed yet. Well, at least they're upfront about it. Uh, wait, did I never open this one? I never did. Well, I'm almost able to purchase things from Snake. Okay. Snake. Otacon. Hello, you dear wizard. Looks like someone, uh, someone desperately in need of fulfilling entertainment, am I right? Well, look no further. Game not patented moat golfing experience is here and yours for the taking. Can you put a harmless dust moat into the gold pool? Can you clear all three patented golfing courses? Can you? Yes, you. Beat the official moat golfing experience on high score. Only by throwing your hat in the ring can you discover these answers and more. Moat golf. Moat Golf for short. Ho ho, you very clever marketing, my new friend. Yes, we'll just call it Moat Golf. This new and improved experience is simply one of a kind. Curious? I know I would be. But to find out more, it's a mere three knocks a ticket. For the most out of this world experience of your relatively uneventful life. I don't have any knocks. What? Wait. You don't? Oh, come on! Are you kidding? My first com customer that can't even pay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, I really need to think need this thing to take off. You got any other liquid assets? That hat looks like it'd sell sell all right. You're not getting my hat. Well, what do you trade? Trying to launch a small business here, you know? I got some magic bits. You know what? Sure, it's a deal. Could probably pawn these off somewhere anyway. What was that last part? <laughs> yes. The pound patented experience awaits. Let's say 15 bits around. 15 bits? I thought it was only three knocks. You don't have any real money, okay? I'm trying to meet in the middle here. Mm, yes, the patented experience awaits. Yeah, what's the highest score at? Score, let me check, let me notes, and ah, yes. The current high score is 19. Set by your tru yours truly, of course. It is the score to beat, if you want the prize. Mm, yes, the patented experience, okay, sure. Great, turn this crank here in uh, one sec. Voila, your patented experience awaits. Come talk to me if you have any questions. How's this work again? That's simple enough. Three courses, and your goal is to lure the moat into the gold pool in the fewest number of putts. The albino mo moats jump at you when you get close, and go investigate when they get hit. So you can use both techniques to lure it closer. The moat leaves the green, though, that's the moat part of the lawn. It'll explode and we'll plop a new one down for you. But fresh mo moats cost a putt. You want that high score? Try to finish the course in one go. Moats won't walk it when in sand traps, though, mind you. They need to hop out. And that's basically it. Okay. Thank you. 
Damn it. Okay. Oh. This is kind of tough. Damn it. Killed itself. I... This is really hard. And there we have it. Full round of moot golf. How you feeling? Invigorated? Refreshed? What's the fun and refund? Uh, good joke, yes. Quite a good, quite in good taste, but the high score is no joke at all. Shall we have a look? Current high score is 19, you putted 30. Sorry, maybe you'll win the prize next time, eh? That's the game. You want to play again? No. I want to buy that artifact. As much as beating that would be cool, I... I want to see what the artifact is more than the prize. Maybe? I don't know. I bet they're both equally kind of useless, but who knows. It was a hard job guarding the village, but I... Did because it, it needs to be done. Any doubt would have done the same. I was just doing my job. You suck. Okay, let's go check this out. Now that I'm actually sufficiently quick. Yeah, I, I'm probably not going to find every single sneaky little bit of this demo. We'll just get through this and then go from there. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna be able to get everything. We will see. Boy, I'm I'm actually getting hungry. Would you? There we go. I wonder if uh, I wonder which is the next bit of progression. This or the ducklings? Maybe it's kind of like parallel progression. You go you go to both, no problem. Can I walk that? Yes. Invisible bridge. Oh, it alternates. Okay. So I, I do not want to truck with that guy too much. Okay, so I can go here. Well, this is kind of neat. A bit of a pain, but a neat puzzle. I see. So the other direction... The other direction takes me to the star. March 30th. Watch this space. Watch what space? You suspect you'll hear something soon. That's early. Like, March 30th would be the 30th would be the uh, the midpoint of the Kickstarter. I guess maybe yeah, if we come back, this will update and actually, or there will be an updated version that has something fancy going on. Anything here? Oh. Yeah, do it. Oh, that's sneaky. That's also sneaky. So we can go up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I just cannot hit this guy. Okay. Can't dash that gap. Hmm. I guess I do have the range to hit this thing. There we go. I guess let's grab this real quick. There you go. This is as far as north, far north as you can go uh, in the runes in the demo. There's no way across the chasm. Fair enough. But I can go here to grab this. Okay, so it looks like we're probably pretty landlocked 
I might be able to get a couple more uh, golden stars. How much do, do I have? I got 20. I guess let's just swing down. Yeah, it, it looks like this might open up halfway through the demo. Maybe. There's like... I honestly don't necessarily know what it is. But I swear there's a sound effect with this that makes it sound kind of like a uh, an alarm. Why would that exist? Oh. Why would any of this exist? Why did I do this? Oh. That's why I did this. Okay, so now we can get... Over there. Seriously, it's it's honestly sounds like a police siren. Which is really interesting. Okay, there we go. And now we can get the star. Not that we really care too much. Sup, Gooner. You're a no threat to me. And we got the star. Alright. Anything else? No. So in that case... Where the heck are we going? I, I guess let's just go back. Because there's nothing here. This is just secret and exploration. Let's see, I've got 184. Hmm. I guess we might as well just kill these guys. They've got a reasonably decent drop rate on bits. I want to get the artifact. I was really ho hoping for... Do we have a map? Like a full map? No, but I do have the unlock all button. So let's just do that real quick. Oh right, I should have been scanning these things. Oh well, I think the unlock all did actually unlock maybe everything? It looks like it did actually. Huh. <laughs> what? Had the strange experience walked into a space that should not have existed in pocket dimension. No idea. Okay, so I most definitely missed that thing. I We will have to leave this for later. There's a lot of cool mysteries. Wait. Was it? No, it's here. Yeah, because if we can't go any further north with either of these directions... Oh, cool. The secret passages are actually marked on the map. Yeah, if I can't go any further north, then this is probably going to be where we stop. I was really expecting there'd be, like, a, a super conclusive, like, hey, this is the end of the demo location, but it looks like we've just kind of hit our limit anyway. Well, I guess in that case, let's just try and get the remaining couple of bits from just whatever creatures we have in the area. We only need 11. 9. 7. 6. 5. I have the count. Four, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two. Ah, I'm thirsty. Give me your blood. Like, how wild would it be if the count actually just, like, er at one point just went full vampire? That would be the one episode of Sesame Street they'd never be able to air. Maybe. Maybe they would. I don't know. I don't know what Sesame Street's standards are. Probably insanely high. Okay. Yeah, let's let's find the snake, pay the snake, and see what goody we get. Okay, two hundred bits. Pay, sweet Arcanum, how long I've longed for this smell. From now on, I must be alone with my riches. Come back when you have found more bits. And we get. Octahedron does not serve any purpose in the demo other than bragging rights. Good work. It'll be very important in the full game. Cool. 
I'm curious where to get that uh, creepy cat thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that in the full version. But for now, I don't want to wander around looking for it. I'll leave that as a mystery for you all. So, anyway, uh, Scrap Dackle is on Kickstarter right now, and honestly, base impressions are, this is a quirky little game, it's got a lot of Zelda mechanics, but with more of kind of a dysfunctional world to explore, uh, which I actually rather dig. It's, it's got a lot of that, that kind of strange indie charm that only certain games evoke, and I really wish I had a proper term for the genre. Because it's not like they all share mechanics or anything like that. There's just something... I guess it would almost be surrealist. But ki kind of. Uh, but this kind of strange surrealist style of indie game. And so it scratches the same itch that Undertale, Everhood, uh, Underhero. Gosh, Earthbound. There's like a couple dozen more that are all kind of in the same general just weird world exploration. And this feels like it's right up there with all of them. Oh, right. Uh, kind of sort of Henry Stickman. Though Henry Stickman was... I guess... Flash? Flashy? There's there's just... It's a quality, and I, I don't have a word for it. And it sucks, because it's going to bother me for a while. Anyway, so, Scrap Dackle is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, they actually have a pretty low goal of only 20000 They're already halfway there. Uh, which is insane, because it's the first day. And honestly, from what I've seen so far, pretty dang good. Obviously, I want to see a lot more before I can truly pass judgment, but for I, for what they've got for a Kickstarter demo, it feels good to me, and I want to see more of it. And that's really all that's left to say. So, I will be leaving a link to the Kickstarter in the description below, but if you just want to hear it, it's kickstarter.com slash project slash jakefriend slash scrabdackle. I... Yeah, I'm just going to link it in the description below. Good luck spelling scrabdackle. I guess it's on the title of the video so that just shouldn't be too hard to figure out so with all that said if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more hit subscribe because i've got a whole lot of crazy indie games to check out and i will i will no matter what be back for the full version of this game when it comes out so until then thanks for watching i'll see you next time